So it's right this time. We're continuing Lake Rudin. Uh, we have... I don't know how much more left of the game. I'm hoping we're not too far from the end now. Lots of other games I'd love to play. Um, I was going to do Yakuza, and then I remembered that at the end of the last stream, I needed to get gear for everyone before we could continue. And I'd forgotten to do that, so... Um, I'll try and do that off stream over the next couple over the next sort of couple of days, because um, I'll be I'll be off I'm off work on sort of let's say holiday, but uh, it's kind of just me being at home basically for for two weeks. Uh, where are we going? Go to Jack's cabin in the courtyard next to the burned out laundry. Right, so we know where that is. Follow the path back to the laundry. Climb that ladder. But yeah, so um, the game's been getting a bit strange. It seems like we're in a town full of ghosts, pretty much. Um, and those ghosts are helping us out, though. They're friendly ghosts, maybe. I don't know if all of them are. We might come across some unfriendly ones. Uh, I think last time we were playing, the game crashed around here, which is why we ended up stopping when we did last time. Uh, but I think this time we'll be all right. I think we're we're doing okay. We just need to get back to the town, which is up this way. We go to Jack's house. Whose house? There we go. So we're back at the main house. The lights look weird. Um, and then we just go this way and go into town. To Jack's house, not this way. The other side of the house. Sorry, over here. It's very dark, it's very misty, and last time out I think we got about here and the game crashed, so I'm hoping that's not uh, something that's going to happen again. I guess we'll, we'll find out. Looks okay. So Jack's house is down here next to the laundry. The laundry was the house that had burned down, that we found the ghost at the bottom of. Oh, get these lights on. I'm sure I turned that on before. Another one. So Jack's house, yeah, I think is that house there. It's either that house there or it's on the other side. Yeah, I think it's this house up here. So let's go and see what it's all about. There's the tube. It's a typewriter. A typewriter? Where? Oh, here. Oh, it's, uh, it's like a... Thing for a typewriter. What am I supposed to do here? Yeah, what am I supposed to do? Write something? Oh, hello. Good evening, miss. My name is Jack Milburn. Pearl told me you helped to get me out of there. Sorry, the way I'm saying that's nonsense. I'm just trying to find my sister. Told me you helped to get out of there. Right, so we're, we're, we're listening to... Okay. It's not safe. Someone here is not who they seem. Who? What do you mean, not safe? Yeah, what do you mean by not safe? It's probably the girl we met first that's not who she seems. There must be someone... What? Can you help me find her? Yeah, can you help her find her sister? That's what we want to know. I think she's in trouble. Yeah. I don't know who I can trust right now. But there's something about you. I'll help you. But you have to do something for me first, was it? Okay, but promise you'll help You're me. a ghost. What what exactly do you need me to do for you? Of course, what my do you dear. Need me to do? Hmm. There's a second hidden hatch in the master's bedroom. I want you to find the hidden room. Behind the hidden hatch. In the hidden passage. Right, okay. So not if I can really trust you. I need to find out. What was stolen? Who stole it? And where it is now. What is it? What's he st what have they stolen? Come back here when you think you figured it out, then I'll tell you what I know. Right. Sure. Okay. Fair enough. So we got to go in the house. Back to the house we go. Is that light on? I've got a light in my hand, but it doesn't seem to be on. It well, doesn't matter, we're going in the house anyway, it's all lit up. So we'll be alright in the house once we get there. Master bedroom. There's another secret passage, apparently. In a secret tunnel. In a 
dark, dark room in a dark, dark house. I don't know, something like that. So we're going upstairs, I assume. To the master's chamber. Oh, the door's shut. Just let me back in, please. I put my light on. I think we need to go upstairs. Where are the stairs? Here. We're going to go back up the stairs into the bedroom. The master bedroom. I guess. Is this it? No, that's not the master bedroom. That's a bedroom. This has got three beds, so that's it's more of a four beds, in fact. It's more of a dormitory type room. This is the way we came from up in the attic, which is not where we want to go. Is the master bedroom this way? Is this it? Yes. No. Maybe no. This is like a study. That's not the room we want to be in. Oh, there's a secret passage. There was a secret passage there. Which takes us down this hatch. Is this where we want to go? That was like the basement room. And there wasn't much to see down here, if I remember rightly. It was just that room with the... With this stuff going on and I don't think this is where we want to be. So where is it? Well, where's that ladder to get us out of here for a start? <laughs> I've lost my ladder. Oh there it is. Fair enough. Climb that ladder and let's see what we're doing. Well that's not the master bedroom so let me just have a look at the objective. Find the secret room in the hidden passage in the master's bedroom. Oh wait, no. This is a bedroom. Is this the... I thought this was a study. Is this a study or is this a bedroom? So there's another secret passage. There we go, like that. Another hatch. But it's not that. What it says, find the secret room in the hidden passage. I mean, that's a hidden passage. Is there a secret room in here? Aha! That behind the door. Right, okay. What's in here? Oh, what's this? It's come to my notice that a crime has happened at the courtyard yesterday. It seems Jack has lost an item of high value. I immediately realised the severity of this crime and committed myself to solving it at any cost. On the 9th of November I asked around about the crime and gathered some evidence from Jack's house. This room will be my investigation room from now on. I've ordered Nellie to board up the door. I looked through the notes and the evidence all day, yet I have no answer. Perhaps a few hours in the basement will clear my mind. I went for a long walk today along the beach, found some interesting shells, but I'll examine them later. Today I went to dinner with a friend in town. I came home one hour late. Seems my pocket watch has been set wrong, one hour wrong. I wonder how long it's been like that. Who knows? Hopefully not too long, eh? Uh, that's a box full of coal. Like that. Okay, we've got some notes on here. Statement. Nelly, what did you do during the time of the theft? I was in the kitchen to about 14.10, then I walked through the courtyard to bring some bags to the laundry. Courtyard was empty. I went back to the estate after that. I then left for my sister, who's been sick lately, poor soul. When I left, I saw you leaving the estate with a couple of boxes. I don't know what you were doing outside the estate with those things. Investigator's comment, I was doing something very important. Great. Jack's statement, when did you last see the box? I had it at around 2.30, but 10 minutes later it had gone. I'd left it in my cabin in the courtyard. What did you do during the time of the theft? I went to the root cellar to check on the rat traps. I'd laid there, it was around 2.35. I think I saw a woman down in the laundry, but I didn't see who it was. Did you see anything suspicious during the day? I did see someone leaving the estate later that day when it was darker. That person was in a hurry. That person appears to be whoever was investigating. My recollection of the day. Uh, 11 o'clock I ate lunch, which was strange since I usually eat at noon. I must speak to Miss Nelly about this. At 1.05 I looked over some sketches in my bedroom. At 1.30 I went to the courtyard to prepare for an experiment. I didn't see anyone when I went uh, through the courtyard in search of suitable objects for the experiment. I think someone was there, but I was too busy with my work to notice. At 14.10 I returned to the estate and went to the basement. At 4.30 I left the basement. Okay. 
And Pearl's statement, what did the box contain? Good question. Perhaps something precious, like a family heirloom. I know he has a locket from his mother. Maybe that's it. What did you do during the time of the theft? I was working in the laundry all day. I left a couple of times during the day, but I can't remember when. I saw you in the courtyard sometime in the afternoon. I heard someone dropping something in the laundry. Who do you think stole it? Maybe he was robbed. That doesn't really answer the question. Did you see anything suspicious during the day? I did see someone lurking around the trees around the root cellar. Couldn't see his face from that distance. I saw Nelly hurrying off towards the estate much faster than usual. I think it was around 2.20. Okay. Wait. Does that help me in any way whatsoever? Light all these candles. What's this? Another one of these boxes. I need my pad of paper again. To write what uh, to write which positions these are in. So let's just wind the little handle. Right, so that should be um, that one, then that one, and then this one, and then that one then this one, and finally that one. Yes, right, so now we need to w w wind the wheel again and see what the second pattern is. Okay, I think I got that one, we'll soon find out. So it's the middle, then the bottom right, then the middle again, then the top middle, then the bottom left, then the right middle, and the middle again. Yes. Right, so now we need to succeed at the last portion of this. Right, I think I got that one as well. So we got uh, top right left middle uh, top left top right bottom left top left right middle yes so that's another box open that tells me something saturnia jewelry rings a third generation of family business it's exciting is there something else in there there's something else inside can i can i see what that is is that not important okay Oh, well, that's something. Something about a... What is that? A wedding ring? Could it be wedding rings that are missing? Some straw in there. Don't know if that really helps me that much, but... Let's see what else is around before we, before we continue anywhere. Now, that appears to be everything that's in this room. What was that? Yeah, there doesn't appear to be anything else. We looked at the statement. We've looked in the box. Uh, figure out what was stolen, figure out who stole it, figure out where it is now, and return to Jack's cabin. Okay. Oh wait, we've got drawers here. Let's start with the bottom one. Nothing. That one. None of those are of interest. Some rocks in that one, and nothing useful in there. So this room pretty much doesn't help me that much at all, if I'm honest. We've got an idea of some places to look. Uh, she heard someone dropping something in the laundry. There was people hanging around the root cellar. Um, uh, courtyard, prepare for an experiment. Angela see the box, had it at around 2.30. Left it in my cabin in the courtyard. Did during the time of theft, went to the root cellar. Saw a woman in the laundry, didn't see who it was. I uh, left my sister who's been late, sick lately. Saw you leaving with a couple of boxes. Don't know what you were doing outside of the estate. Right, so I think we've seen everything to see in this part of the house. He did say he went down to the basement. I don't, I don't know, is it worth? He did say that he went down to the basement for a little while, so let's... See if there's anything interesting in the basement. Probably not. I think we've pretty much exhausted whatever's down here. Said that they saw some box him with some boxes. 
So what are, what are we looking for, I wonder? Is it, an, is it this uh, locket they said? I really don't know. I'll take a look over here. I don't think there was really anything about, though. But we may as well look in all the places where it was suggested that they might have been. Because it could be that the guy's just lost the thing, right? What's that? Oh, where's it gone? That cannon thing that you could use to launch bottles has disappeared. Or it's buried under that box for some reason. Right, anything down here? It looks like at this stage it's very much this particular puzzle is all about looking for something that somebody thinks has been stolen. Has it? Who knows? Yeah, we opened that box before. Anything on the bookshelves? No. I don't think there's anything there. I don't know where we're going to find this. Whatever it is. Oh wait, what's that? Oh no, no, that's just the handle for that pot. We'll take a look around here. Broken stuff. Broken stuff. Nothing of interest. Nope. Oh wait, what's that? No. Nothing. What's up here? And we can't go any further than there, so... I would assume that probably means that no other person could either. No. Nope. Just some barrels. Anything down there? Let's go down and have a look. Let's go down and see. Hmm. Right. There's not anything down. Oh wait. Oh no, it's one of those. It's one of those annoying boxes. I wasn't doing them because the what they what they are doesn't seem to be attached to the completing the main storyline. So have a quick look here. Plus, they they would take hours to find it. I think I think they would take forever to get done. Uh, all right, well let's just go up here. Oh, I got stuck. Let's just go up here. There's nothing in the basement. So now we can go and look in some of the other places that they suggested. Quite a lot of different places as well. So. I only hope we find it quickly. Uh, the ladder's the other way. Climb the ladder. Right, so it's not here. We can probably close that that door as well. Okay. So where else did they say? They said in the root cellar, in the courtyard, in the laundry. Somebody dropped something in the laundry. Right, the courtyard is this way, I think. No, sorry, no, the other way. The courtyard's this side of the house. Now, he said something about a little cabin in the courtyard. This is the courtyard. I can't. Well, there's no cabins here, though. Maybe it's the other side of the house, then. Maybe it's at the other side. I mean, it could be bloody anywhere. There's not a cabin in this courtyard, so I don't know what... I could walk on that picnic bench. Yay! That's not exciting. Uh, what else is here? Right, got a book. We've got... A smashed up thing. There's another one. And not much else. Okay. That way takes us down towards the, uh, the lake. We didn't need to go there. There's no cabin up there. Um, right then. Let's try going to that root cellar first. And the laundry as well. We can go in there. Which is like that burned out house. 
somebody left, what is that on my screen? Oh, that's strange. I thought there was a mark on my screen, it was the edge of my, the edge of my blue screen thing. Uh, right, so, the root cellar is this way. There was a suggestion that there was someone hanging about there, so... I'm very confused. The root cellar is up. Which was a little confusing initially. Yeah, so this is the root cellar up here. Now they did say somebody was hanging about. I don't know if, how I'm, am I supposed to... Was I supposed to work out what was going on just from... Can I have my light, please? Right, what's what's in here? What's this? It's just a toolbox. There was nothing in this box. No. So I don't even know, are we supposed to be finding the thing that he's looking for? This door's not going to lock on me again, is it, like it did last time? No, good. Right, so it said that he was in here for a little while. That's that book that we already read. Is that, wait, it's not here. I've searched through this whole cellar twice and no trace. Spent the night when I woke up, all the piles have been disturbed. My heavy door slammed shut. That was what we did with the potions. Okay, that's him burning himself. Skin was itching. Shows nightmares, broke his leg. So I think he was in here looking for the thing that went missing. But I don't think it's here. That thing there, nothing. He looked through everything he said though. Someone disturbed the piles. Someone disturbed his piles. Oof. That's all the um, recipes for potions. I don't think we need any more of them. Down there, well, we could look down there, it wouldn't hurt. Although, down there was just that puzzle that we, we did, which was with the cogs. I don't think there was much of anything here, to be honest. What's this? That's an empty box. I might have to look for some hints if I don't get anything here. That was the cogs that we fixed. We fixed that so we don't need to worry about it anymore. So there, there's nothing in the root cellar. Um, the laundry, someone dropped something in the laundry they said. So we could go and try the laundry. Just before kind of looking to see what else there is. There was a, it said there was a cabin in the courtyard but there wasn't. So I don't know if that's something we need to try and work out where that could have been. It might have burnt down, it might have fallen down, who knows. It's a bit annoying. <laughs> like most of the puzzles so far have been relatively straightforward, but could there be anyone in that building? Although if I remember rightly in here there's pretty much nothing. Just a load of straw piled up but there are some candles we didn't light I don't know if that matters I don't know if that's going to be like you know like an achievement thing or something light up all the candles and you get an achievement it probably is because you know they always have stupid achievements not that, did I say stupid annoying achievements like that light up 5,000 candles oh this is locked now can't open it anymore that's interesting. I can open it with that though. I need my light. I mean, so someone said that they heard someone drop something in here. Now, it could be anything and it could be anywhere. So this side was the furnace that we had to turn on. If 
we can find the thing. Oh, no, that's just a hammer. We can throw that if we want. Chuck the hammer away. There you go. Not much else though. This thing apparently doesn't do anything. Although, I wonder. The screwdriver doesn't do anything with that. Nothing in there. Okay. Uh, this way was, as far as I was aware, this way was empty. It's just blocked up. Nothing lying around in it. Someone dropped something in the laundry. Let's try going, playing around with the water levels there. We might do that in a minute, but right now, I want to see what's around in this part. I shouldn't see who it was. Now, this is the laundry. I didn't look around in this much when we went here the first time. I don't even know. He doesn't say we have to find the thing. He says we have to find out who took it, where it is. You know, was it stolen? Where is it? It's all there in the hints, but... nothing around there and I mean if anyone went to this room and dropped something presumably the people who were in there would have seen them nothing there let's try through this door there are some stairs going down which we can look at I'm gonna have a look over here first let's see if there's anything obvious I can't light that torch that lantern There, can I light that candle? Good. There's nothing here. What exactly are we supposed to be? Oh, I thought that was a that was a way down, but no, it's just that was the way we got in to this place by sort of sneaking around with it. Nothing. Oh wait, we haven't opened this. No, nope, there's nothing there. Look through the piles of washing? No. No. Right. Now, there are two areas here which uh, you can go into, which are filled with, one of them's filled with water. Wait, are they both filled with water? Uh, not, they must be, I just have to hit this one more time. Should reduce the water level in there. And let me have a quick look what's down here. I don't know. It, I know that those little kind of box puzzles. Oh, it's not gone down the drain, has it? No. These little box puzzles don't offer anything that's specifically kind of a. Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. As far as I'm aware, these boxes don't contain anything particularly useful. I'm not going to bother with that just now. And to be honest, I don't have the first clue how to get that. I don't know where this thing is. Let's try going down the other side just in case it's down there. I don't think it is though. That'll lower the water level there, and then let's do it one more time. It should lower the water level all the way. Down again. That's a cog. What's that? Nothing. So if someone dropped something in the laundry, it looks like it's probably been picked up. Because there's nothing here. You can move that box around, but that was just so we could sneak into that uh, little slot there. Um, one sec. So I don't know what we could be doing. So Oh, 
I see, I see, okay. That's what I'm supposed to do. Right. What I'm supposed to do, apparently, is once I've read all the testimonies, I'm supposed to go back to the house, to the typewriter, to discuss the investigation into what was being done. Which I didn't do, obviously, so let's go do that now. So what did you find out? <clears throat> what was stolen? Uh, a locket? Like that seemed to be what they were suggesting. Who did it? And Nora was... Yeah, Nora. Nora. And where is it now? She destroyed it. Destroyed. No, I've got it wrong. Come back when you have figured it out. Can I... Do I have to go back up there to look at those notes, or can I... Hidden room. Oh yeah, there we go. There's all of them. No. Uh, recollection day. 11 o'clock I ate lunch. 1 of 5 looked over some sketches. 1 of 30 went into the courtyard. Basement. Jack's statement. Ten minutes later, I'd gone. I left in the cabin in the courtyard. Went to the root cellar. Saw a woman in the laundry. Didn't see who it was. In the kitchen until about ten past two. That's pretty much given me a, an order to do it in, but it is the locket. I'm pretty sure it's the locket. I don't want to just kind of go with that, but I want to make sure that I have got the right information. Of course, it was. It was the ring, wasn't it? Because that was what we saw the receipt for. A ring. It was the ring. Um, and it wasn't Nora. Inar. It was Anar. I think it was dumped somewhere outside. Outside the estate. Oh, there we go. That must be it. So, why did he ask me? Why did he ask me to do that? If he knew already that that was it. Uh, the inner tumor ring brought it somewhere outside the estate, but where could he have taken it? He was doing something on the island. So we gotta go back to the island. Oh yeah, because there's a cabin on the island. I might have taken his key to mess a little with him. Here, take it. Okay, good. Go bring back my ring and I'll tell you where to look for your sister. Back to the island then. Oh, we're going to Ibiza. Back to the island. No, that's not right. That is the song, but it's, it's not right for this situation. We're not partying, are we? It's a very, it's a, like a spooky kind of bit of music in the background. Right, so we need to go up here. I don't know how much longer is left of this game either. We might be finishing this tonight before the normal finishing time. If we do, then... Um, we can start something else, maybe. Right, so we need to go this way, uh, through that gate that's over there to the island. Uh, and into that, I'm guessing it'll be in that cabin on the island. So back we go. Back to the island. ring. Yeah, I don't know why I went with the locket. I know someone said a locket, but when we looked, there was a kind of receipt for rings, wasn't there? So, can I go down that ladder? Yeah, thanks. At last. Right, back we go to this annoying island.
We got a key. That key should allow us to get into something in the cabin because there wasn't anything else to unlock. Like there was the standing stones. But there wasn't anything to unlock in there as far as I'm aware. Back we go. In the mist. To the creepy island. Oh, don't go in the water. Don't get, don't fall in the water. Right. What do we have here? This place is really difficult to walk around. Somebody made a really, really bad bridge to this island. Right, so I don't think we need to go into the standing, oh no, we need to go round through the standing stones so we can get to the, uh, the cabin. Right, let's see if there's something. Oh, there was something that we couldn't unlock, wasn't there? That's locked. That's what it was. And in that we find... Oh, what was that? Those are lenses. There's not a ring in there. What's this? Today my experiment begins. I shall create a light reflecting device which will shine brighter than any lighthouse. It was a full moon today and I've begun to wonder if the moon's shape perhaps has something to do with the amount of light that the lenses reflect. I shall make note of this and find the optimal conditions. It was also a very windy day. Perhaps it also affects, affects the amount of light. So there we can see the different lenses and phases of the moon, I guess. Unlike last week, the water level's been high. I shall take the opportunity to do an experiment every day while it lasts. I believe it gives the best results. The day was a windless day, but a cold morning. The moon was dark, but I still did the experiment to see what happens. It did not shine very bright, as suspected, but it did show me a perfect hideout. I shall use this hideout for my new safe, in which I've hidden some valuables. The wind was harsh and cold today. The crescent moon gave some interesting results that lasted for a few seconds. Behind one of those, it looks like there's a... Oh, I don't know. Today was the first clear sky for the first time in several months. The water level was low and I wonder if it might be optimal after all. I shall investigate it further. Finally stopped snowing, now I can continue. A clear sky with a full moon and with a high water level seems to give the best results. But we don't have a clear sky right now. The amount of wind doesn't seem to matter. My work here is done. I don't know what any of that means. Sightings of something. There is one of these puzzle boxes. Um, I don't know, let's try and see if there is anything we can do. Well, that seems to work in order to get uh, some of it to go on. Well, that seems to do that. Let me see. That fixes the top line. Oh yeah, here we go, that's gonna work. Um, let me think. That should get those ones done. And then this one. Yes, that works. Uh, so that gets those three lines completed. Much. We just do the same across here as we were before. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty straightforward now. It's that. And then that. And this. Um, no, that's not right. Um, how many of these are there? 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 42, so I think I worked out that that, that, and that 
tracks. Basically what that's doing is it's creating the top line. So if we do all of these, that does the top line. And that one. That one. That one. That one. Then we want to skip the last one and do this one. Um, I'm just trying to think. This one, and this one. Yeah, this this should be right. Um, so this is eighteen, nine, twelve, thirteen, four. I think there. Did I already do that one? I did, didn't I? Just letters. It's just a picture. On finding the ninth puzzle box I've not done any of them. They don't. It's just literally like a kind of. I don't know. An even better one by me. It just. It's just puzzle boxes without anything really interesting in them. Oof. I need to turn off that notification noise because uh, it's quite loud. <laughs> Basically, it's getting the notification from the Xbox and from the PC. Right now, I think. I think that the place we're looking for his stash, his safe, um, is to, I don't know, I think the way he was doing this, whatever he was doing, was he was putting lenses in all of these holes, and then I guess the lens would show, the lens would show what, what he wanted to see. All the lenses are the same from what I can see, so it does, that doesn't seem to make any difference to anything. There's no, you know, they're just lenses. But there's f there's f five of them and there's five of these, so I assume, oh, didn't do it. There's five of them and there's five of these, so I would imagine that should mean that these five have to go there, right? And then presumably, Probably put this on there now, right? And then light it. Right. What does that do? What are we supposed to do to that? What's that gonna what's the how's that gonna help us? Hmm. Okay, so So, what do we have to adjust those lenses so that they hit a different? Um, it's got to be those things in that in that note, doesn't it? That's the one. Okay, so Anar's journal. Hmm. What was this? This at the end. Well, what kind of day is this? It's not. It's misty. I don't think that really helps. Hmm. I think I want to... I guess we can turn these? In some way? I don't want it to go... 
that way. Does that help? That puts you to that one. Uh, I think. Uh, I think this wants to go. Where's that beam going? I think it wants to go to the next one. And then that one. Go to that one. I think that's right. Where's the beam from this going? Going there. Uh, I have no idea what we're doing with this. Move the beam away from. Hmm. I don't really understand. <laughs> Hold on. I need to think about this. I need to think about this. There's obviously... There's obviously something I'm supposed to do. Hmm. Right, wait a minute. That should go there. Think. I, I don't know if this is right at all. This one should go to. Yeah, I would say this one should go to that one. Um, I want this one to go to. Yeah, that is the right place. To that one. That should go. Oh, oh wait, no, that's. Totally screws that up, doesn't it? Hmm. Where's that going? Nowhere. Oh, I don't. I don't. I have no bloody idea what I'm doing here. Uh, can I reset this in some way? Wait a minute. And one of them's not being hit at all, so I can't, that can't be right. Can't be right. Can't be right. Okay, let's try again. Oh, because that's... Ah, uh, wait. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing now. I think I know what I'm doing now. I hope. That should go to that one. Uh, I think I want this one to go over there. That's going there. That's where I want that to go. Right. Um, I want this one to go there, if I can. I think it was going there originally. And then this one. I want it to go kind of... Now where's this going? What's that? Was that lit up before? That looks like that might be something. Wait. There's still one that's not got anything on it now. I'm sure 
surely that can't be right. I don't... I don't understand this puzzle at all. This puzzle's gonna take me all night. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, let's try something. Let's try something. Let me try oh, so you can move that as well. Right, okay, that's different. Um, wait, is that aimed? Okay, well I can't turn that one, so I'm assuming that's in the right place. That one won't turn. Yeah, okay. This one won't turn. Goes over there. That one won't turn, goes over here. Oh look, that is now, that's now hitting that, that rock that I saw. And there is something in there. Thank goodness. Oh, it's another one of these snake puzzles. So I can't turn that one, but I can turn the rest of it. That one's got to be... Looking at how that lines up with everything else, though. That looks like it should be there. that? No, it couldn't. It's definitely not that. It should be like a pointy tip or something that goes to this, right? I don't really know. I can't. That could be it. Some of these puzzles in this game are like that looks like it lines up with that, but does it? No. I'm looking at the lines around the edge to try and find lines that kind of stay st like that. The lines, if you look on the left hand side of it, those lines match, but they don't match on the other side. Oh, that's going to be a tough one. Let's see. So we did that one. At least I think we did. That must be how that goes, right? The next one. Oh wait. That lines up, I think. I think. Does that go there? No. Yes. Okay. I thought that wasn't doing anything for a minute. There's the ring! And here's a note. Miss Nelly wondered about the stones out on the island. She says that she never gets out there because she's afraid of them. This is ridiculous, of course. There's nothing dangerous or strange about the stones. I made them after a drawing I found in an old book. When I set them in place, there was a small red light, but I'm sure that it was only the sun reflecting in the water. The dead fish floating in the lake were surely caused by the long and hot summer and nothing else. Sure. Well, I'm going to go put this... Oh. That's it. I'm going to go and put this ring back inside the uh, cabin, right? I'll get that out to Finally, the cabin. I have the ring. I wasn't sure why it was so important to Jack, but I just hope that he'll be able to help me after all of that. Amos, okay. that old man sure was imaginative. I'm not sure that his flights and facts okay, so are worth at the lighthouse. I'll go back to Jack's cabin. I don't know how close we are to the end. Maybe now that we've done this, we won't have long left. 
maybe. If we're lucky. Oh, come on, climb this bloody ladder. <laughs> Getting up this ladder it just seems like a total nightmare. Yeah, the only problem with this game is a lot of it is just slow walking. I mean, you do that with any sort of walking simulator type game, but obviously this is a lot of obscure puzzles to solve. Okay, back to Jack's cabin. Go to the typewriter and be like, look, we've done all this now. What's next? <laughs> Where's my sister? That's what he needs to ask. She needs to be asking. Where's my sister? I've had enough of you guys messing me around, telling me to go this way and that way and do this and that. You know, just tell me where she is. The end of the end of the story. This way, right? It just needs to be done now. plenty of other things to to do as well if, if we do and I'd say I don't know how, how soon we finish this whether we're about to or whether there's still plenty more to do if there's obviously if there's still lots to do then that's fine if there's not I need to work out what to do afterwards oh, that's okay I need to go to the toilet so let's just do this first you found it thank you yeah I found it just leave it here with me sure there's an old well you need to go down. Nice. <laughs> it's in the middle of the village. I think I did see the well. Okay. Why, why, why would I go down a well? First, you'll need to drain the water. Find the metal cabinet in the furnace room. Well, we know where that is. Because we were looking at that a little while ago. Wondering if it did anything. After you've done that, Pearl will help you get down in the well. Right, I need to go to the toilet. I'll be back in just a sec and then we'll continue that. Just one moment. Right then. So, let's have a quick chat to him about all these other what things. Happened yeah, what happened to Nelly? She packed her trunk and said goodbye to the circus. No? no? She was gone one day. Pearl couldn't find her anywhere. I hadn't talked with her for a long time. She seemed a bit distant. Maybe she was behind it. After all... Why would she trap one of the spirits in the basement? Who knows? Why would she do that? Maybe, maybe. What about Nora? Maybe she. Who knows? Be careful with that one. She's not as innocent as she seems. Yeah, I've kind of thought that from the beginning when we met her. That whole forgetful routine. I believe it for a second. I believe it for a second. I think you mean I don't. But don't tell her that I know. What about the old owner? The old owner was that not Nelly? Thought that was Nelly. The two of us, 
didn't exactly get along very well. But for as long as he was alive, everything was good. Then it all spun out of control. Did it? Uh, how about you? How about you? Not much to say. I used to live here, in this house. And then he died, and now he's a ghost. And now I'm confined to my old typewriter. Wow. It's Ghostwriter. Does anyone remember that TV program? Ghostwriter. It was like an educational kids program on in the middle of the day. That they used to have you watch in school. You and Carl? It was like a... It was like a kind of investigation team and... The ghostwriter would, uh, would write letters in the air. Yeah, that's some weird typewriter. It was a little bit after I was at school. My brother, I think, watched it. Uh, we had stuff like, um, it was, uh, what was it? Geordie Racer. It was like a boy with, uh, a boy from Newcastle with pigeons. I seem to remember. I better get going. There was other ones as well. There was a... Better get going, remember to be careful. Please, yes. Right, so we had to go... Where was it again? Drain the well from the metal cabinet in the furnace room. Yeah, I remember where that is. Is that, is that the well there? No, that's a, that's a laundry tub. So the, fur, the little switch was next to the furnace, I remember. We were there not that long ago. So let's go back, put my light on. Pop my light on. There we go. Right, so how does this work? Well, this is the metal box, isn't it? That's the metal box. Do I need to do I need to use the screwdriver on it now? Aha! There we go. Oh god. Really? Right, okay. Pipes. So it's that, um, I can't really see, obviously, what we're, pick it up, okay, now it works, okay, so we got one of these, uh, pipeline sort of things. I've got absolutely no idea exactly how we're supposed to do it, so let's say we go up there. The only thing I'm concerned about is obviously there's kind of double sections on these. Ah, look. That means that that end will stop being something we need to worry about. Are there any more caps like that? Okay, so that would. be useless. <laughs> um, I mean, that would connect them. But there's all of these areas that are wide open. So presumably I've used too many kind of junctions. Because that, I mean. Oh, unless. Unless I can do like that. Wait, I mean that. And that, which would close off that part, right? No, that wouldn't be any use. Let's see. Yeah, that's not good enough. Okay. Okay, so we need to make a path. Drop all this and start again, I think, probably is going to be the best option. It's one thing when you've got kind of things set up and you have to kind of adjust the pipes around it, you know, it's, it's easy enough to kind of work out what you're doing there, but when the pipes are just kind of laid out on there and you have to build it yourself, it's not so easy.
feel like, I don't know what. I think that was probably right. There's not very many options from the top pipe. Can you pick it up? Yeah, okay. Um. Let me think here. There is a way. I need to make sure all of the pathways to it are shut. That's the kind of main problem, isn't it? Like a curved pipe like that, that keeps those connected, which means I could put another one of those junctions like this connected there. That would keep them, that would keep the steam inside the pipes. If I then, we don't want everything to keep going straight ahead though, so if I drop that down, that should reduce the height of this. Um, Pretty much, and then no, not that one. Uh, I want one of those ones that's kind of like a T shape. Not that one. That one. That would close that side off. That that kind of helps. And then if we have another curved one, that will go this way, which will keep it going in the right direction. Probably, I mean, what we can get away with now, I think, is probably to put like a straight pipe. Across there, we need something to go down though. Probably, I've not got very many options left, but if I do like a T shaped one, cap the top of that off, then yeah, all we need is a curved one as long as we've got one. We do, yes. So this should now work. I hope. That's all sealed, there's no reason that wouldn't work. That part's worked. Does anything happen? Or is that it? We put the cover back on. Apparently that's it. So where's this well then? That must be it because it's it was all sealed. The thing didn't shut back down. So I'm assuming. Uh, let me think. So we go this way, this gets us somewhere. Is there anything in here just out of interest? Oh wait, there was a lot of stuff there before. And now there's a ladder. Is this the well? Kind of looks like it. I think we're going to find our sister dead at the bottom of the well. Bones. Someone fell down. Timmy fell in the well. Louise, what are you doing down there? Timmy's fallen down the well. What happened here? <laughs> I don't know. It's all wet. Uh, How did you become a ghost? Is she, did she fall down the well? I'm not sure. I she can't. She can't remember never being a ghost. You think I was a flesh and blood person like you? Hey, maybe. Who knows, right? Something must, have happened. Something must have happened, like you Why fell down. Jack and Pearl had me go down here. Who knows? Plan for it to happen. Nora, what happened? Yeah, what happened to you, Nora? Coming up here to get, to get the girls to leave. The girls to leave. No one wanted them here. Who? You know, what, what am I looking for down here? There must be something down here. Yeah, why am I here? That's that's a. Question with all sorts of issues. Oh, hello. There it is. It's a line. It's a line. What does that do for me? We've gone to a new area, I think. Is it? Oh, it's another one of those light ones. It's another one of those things where we have to follow on with the light, isn't it? I think. Make out some words. It's talking about you, Marie. Who is that creepy? Is it? I can't keep it away from you. What is it? 
A pillar of light. Can you not open the gate, no? You want the hand to open the gate? What's it worth? There you go. Carry on. The light can't open a gate. Obviously. Come on then. What are we waiting for? What are we going to find out here? What's that? Do I need to light this up for you? Alright, oh, it's, uh, it's telling me to get the lantern. This spirit knows the way out, does it? Come on then, spirit. Get me out of here. Oh, another gate. Still not, still not worked out how to open gates, no? There you go, Luke. Don't say I wasn't good to you. Does this lantern light up? Doesn't it? Apparently doesn't. What's this? We've got some stones. It's like it's like a cheap ass uh, rip off of Stonehenge. So what's this? What are we doing here? Got some of those firefly type things. Ah, look. Ah, uh, this is another bloody symbol we're supposed to draw. It's another symbol we're supposed to draw on there. Right, so it was... Let's look at it again. Show me. Again. Right, okay, so it's starting here, I think. Oh, that's right, I need to... Um, I think it goes here to there. Oh, I need to be quick doing it as well. Um, no, stop. Go away. Right, so I think we need to go there. 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 And then there. 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 No? The thing is, you have to do it quickly. Looks like that should be what it is. Um, unless there's. That's the only stone, right? There's not another stone. Oh, here, there's loads of stones here. Mm. Let's try it on this one then, in that case. That's not right, is it? Is that right? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, let me think. I think it is, it's that and then that. Ah yes, okay. Do we need to do that with any other ones? Or is it just that one? There you are, Marie. Here, Miss That's Miss Nelly. You're not, at all like I You're not like I remember. Yeah. Drink the potion? What kind of potion are we drinking? Two people needed to form the link back. So she's dragged us here to, uh,. Uh oh. Wait, what's going on? Then he told her about one of the seeds. And he told me about the other. Poor Jack. More of these. The only one you told about the pair. And you lost a part of okay. the pair in his 
That seems like a slightly more simple one. So there's... Oh look, there's, there's this one as well. How does this work then? Where, where... So we've got two of these that need to go somewhere. And it's going, I think you have to do it to this stone. Not totally sure. Um, I think it's this stone, let's see. I guess we want to do the, uh, uh, this, this, yeah, and then up there, down there. So I had to join the two things together to give that a bit more power. I'm a little concerned about what exactly it's doing, though. What are you two talking about? I don't know what Miss Nelly is having you do, but you're far too late, Marie. Too late, Marie? What the hell's that up there? I can't take you and your sister back with me. Wait, what? But at least we finally found her. Wait, are we? Miss Nelly, I was very Are we going to die here? Neither you nor Pearl ever recognized me. You've probably figured out by now that I'm it's not Nora. Nora. And how you managed to get away that night, I have no idea. Well, who the bloody hell is it then? <laughs> He didn't even know what he was doing half of the time. Did he not? Oh, we've got more of these. But soon Up here we've got then upward then line, right hand line, right hand line, coupled. upward line. Right. Is that the only... Hmm. Right, okay, well let's see if we can work this out then. So it was a, like a... No, it was like a kind of like that. I think. Uh, and then up in there. Yeah. Look at what. What are we looking at? What are you doing? What's that thing? Get lost. Oh. What the hell's going on here? Now all of these things are lighting up. Do those symbols mean something? Do I have to do something with them? Is it the, the battle between darkness and light? What the hell's going on? What have I done? I killed myself. What have I just got myself killed? What's happening? It's very bright all of a sudden. Every story needs a hero. Oh, I completed the game. Okay, good. I can't help it. I can't do anything about this. <laughs> I honestly couldn't do anything. Oh, I could. A bright white screen. I mean, I really hate having a bright white screen like that uh, on. That's annoying. Several days had all taken place that night. We're going to have to start another game, or at least a short bit of another game. Almost like it never happened. Well, there we go. That's Lake Ridden. A kind of first walking sim kind of puzzle game type of thing. Uh, I am going to do something.